Good morning, everyone. Hi, hello. My name is CJ, and I am back again with another narrated art time lapse video for us to take a look at and you know decipher this discern um, just basically critique and yeah learn a thing or two from is uh, the whole point of me doing these narrated art time lapses. So yeah, um, for. Uh, this very first video of the year happy new year by the way before i forget um hopefully your holidays uh was great uh, mine was awesome and so yeah this is a great start for the new year so um so yeah <laughs> let's just get started talking about the artwork that we're taking a look at so uh this particular artwork slash illustration that I did is for an art competition um, art station challenge is a big challenge um, it was sometime in mid spring to late spring of last year and the challenge was to come up with um, four keyframes uh, basically it's just four illustrations um, for the prompt medieval back and forth and so basically the idea of the prompt was that there's this portal a time portal that connects the medieval times to the modern times and we were challenged to do some world building basically think of like how the world would have been impacted uh, if such a portal was to open how medieval times would have been influenced and how the modern times would have been influenced uh, so yeah it's an interesting challenge basically to come up with four keyframe illustrations uh, that showcases the impact of such a portal and so for my particular um, keyframe illustrations I decided to concentrate on the Holy Crusades. The Holy Crusades is such a big event in the medieval times. It, there was like three of them that happened. Um, so it was really really big basically and I kind of reimagined the medieval uh, Holy Crusades. I reimagined what it would have been like if the modern influence of modern weapons and modern army training and everything modern um, would have influenced that past event basically so that was really like the impetus of my idea and so when I started doing my research I started looking up like you know military stuff um, military outfits military scenarios military things um, I basically wanted to center my story not only on like the holy crusades and whatnot but like a particular story of a young boy who gets recruited uh to become part of the campaign the military campaign so he got recruited and he and then it went through his training and then it went through the holy crusades and eventually you know it ended up with him winning the holy crusades or whatnot yeah da, da, da. so that was like the narrative arc of the four illustrations that i did um so the very very first illustration is this one i'm showing and basically in this particular um illustration we see that the kid is being recruited by the military so he's a farmer's kid uh you can see the mom hugging him goodbye she's really sad the dad is really sad too they're in the farm and then you see all this military people coming towards him because they know i mean the scenario is basically denotes like hey it's time you know you're going to join the military you're going to join the campaign yeah all that stuff um so yeah that's what basically this first illustration that i'm doing at so and so yeah it's basically the journey of this one guy from him joining the military all the way to the holy crusades campaign so um now that i got the prompt done and, uh, and out of the way fully explained let's talk real quick about all the past things that had happened in the past five minutes in a video um so the very first thing that we noticed was me doing a few sketches right um so after I came up with my idea on what to do with my illustrations, I grabbed a bunch of photos, like I mentioned. Uh, I have a few references for military stuff. And 
I did warm up sketches basically and so a lot of the sketches that I did at the very very beginning was just me kind of just like warming up to the idea of the design of this particular world that I'm trying to build right what would the army military look like um, I basically came up with the whole idea of you know the knight's armor um, with modern weapons that's pretty much like like the gist of like the main visual <clears throat> sorry the main visual image that i have in my head was this basically this knight with like military weapon sorry excuse me all right <laughs> i got something stuck in my throat i do apologize for that um but yeah uh so those were like the very first few sketches that I made and then after like we see that right now there's uh, a knight with like a military weapon in his arm so I, it, these were just initially warm-up sketches at first and then after doing warm-up sketches I decided to do my 3d mock-up that's what we saw in blender I did four obviously since I needed four 3d mock-ups for four illustrations we're only I'm only showing the very first one so I'm not showing the other three, obviously, since we're con concentrating on, on the very first illustration. And so I did a 3D mock-up. I brought that 3D mock-up back in Krita. And I decided to do like my color key uh, composition with based on the 3D mock-up. So that's what you saw me did where I smudged all, like I quickly colored the scene. I did a quick outline quickly colored the scene, smudged everything, and basically I ended up coming up with a base paint. After coming up with that base paint, I decided to go back to this file that I have. It's basically, I guess, my scratch pad is what I would call it, um, where my initial sketches were and whatnot. And basically, when I went back to this particular file, I wanted to come up with my clean line sketches. So. You saw me do um, a rough sketch at first just to kind of denote form of the figures. And then after coming up with the forms of figures, I went back and did the clean line sketch. So that's what we're taking a look at right now is me doing all this clean line sketches. Now I'm eventually going to bring this back to... Um, I'm going to combine this with that base painting I have. So I'm going to take that base layer that I have with all the colors and stuff. Everything's fuzzy, nothing's too detailed. And I meant for it to be like that just because I just needed a, like an idea of what the color composition is and the general overall look of the composition. So I'm going to bring that back up. I'm going to combine it with the clean line sketches. Uh, I'm going to do some more quick sketches of the things in the background because um, I didn't really sketch in uh, the army and the vehicles that they were riding on. Uh, I think I only concentrated on the three main figures, which is the mom, the kid, and the dad. See, I'm doing the rough sketch of the dad right now. Then I'm going to go back and do a clean line sketch of this guy. Uh, and... Did I do a clean line sketch? Uh, yeah, I'm about to do the clean line sketch. Yup. You can see that there are other clean line sketches in there that I ended up using for all the other illustrations. Um, so yeah. But yeah, after doing this clean line sketch, I'm going to combine it all again with that other illustration. Uh, do a quick sketch of the background vehicle and all that army coming in to recruit the kid and then yeah go to town with detailing basically after that um so yeah uh, let me take a look okay I actually did a quick sketch of that vehicle actually in my scratch pad. I just now realized that. I thought I did my quick sketch um, at this particular stage, but I realized it was on the other stage. Um, yeah, I thought I, I did it on this file, um, but it turns out that I did it on my scratch pad file. Um, so yeah, I'm so sorry that that did not get recorded, but 
yeah you can see that there was a quick sketch of the vehicle which is basically like a combination of like the old horse carriage so back in the day in the medieval times <clears throat> sorry again my, my throat is scratchy um, um, back in the medieval times so sorry I don't know what's going on with my throat right now so yeah um, my throat is really dry because it's winter time here in the US so I apologize for this uh, but yeah back in the medieval time you can see that that's the particular design that they have for the horse carriages um you have this cabin and then they have um simple wheels and of course the driver uh the one that you know pushes the horse and everything sits up front so i basically took that design from the medieval times and kind of put my own like modern twist to it um I was also thinking of like the Model T Ford because the Model T Ford was very heavily influenced with the old <clears throat> horse carriage designs, right? Like if you take a look at the Model T Ford, it's basically like a, a, um, a redesign of like the horse carriage. But instead of like having, you know, the front part where the driver sits pushing, you know, like not pulling the horse but guiding the horses and whatnot it's where the engine sits um so basically that's what the model t ford is right a modified horse carriage where the engine sits at the very front so i kind of just took that inspiration and basically just kind of used that as my vehicle of sorts um and then of course the army is still very much um heavily influenced with medieval armor you see that they have capes and um they have metal plates armors and whatnot um so yeah it's still very medieval looking um and then i have this very sci-fi i guess electric poles electric poles was really what my inspiration is for those poles at the very back i kind of wanted to give that idea that you know there's these electric poles because electricity has you know reach the medieval times they were influenced by the modern times because of that so that's like the whole idea behind it and then i also added the dishes the satellite dishes to kind of denote that they have you know modern communication as well um so that's my idea behind those poles the very background so if you take a look at this this is pretty much your modern day farm setting um you have your rosa plants and then you have your road at the very very back and whatnot so yeah um that was the whole idea behind this so but anyways after combining all these things into this one composition um i obviously had to do some tweaks on the lighting um and i have to paint in the background because the background wasn't really there before um on a side note i really 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 love how i did those clouds in the back so like my reference for that was from pixels.com and you know i just saw the sky and i was like wow this sky is very very vivid looking very very awesome looking and i just had to paint it in so uh i, I thought that was a really cool reference that i used um so yeah i painted in the background combine all the elements all the separate elements that have in all separate files tweak some lighting issues uh and then start detailing um eventually halfway through detailing uh one of the challenge hosts uh bogna uh, i'm not sure how i pronounce her name uh let me look her up real quick bogna goronska i think is uh, how you pronounce her name um, she made a comment about how I wasn't really applying atmospheric perspective on this particular illustration um, and it was right uh, there wasn't really a whole lot of separation between the background and the foreground and so I went back and eventually edited that into the scene later I added atmospheric perspectives I faded the background a lot uh, just so that the foreground would pop out 
um, and then yeah I continued with my detailing so um, that's basically what we're gonna be watching for the next few minutes uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause for a second narrating uh, I'll let you guys watch the video for now and then I'll come back later in the video and give my final thoughts about this particular illustration <music> So looking back at this now, I realized that I could have really pushed the atmospheric perspective a whole lot more. I could have really killed uh, some of the values a lot more on, on the background and really just push it farther back. Um, so yeah. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it still looks a lot better though than my initial illustration uh, where it didn't even have the atmospheric perspective at all. So, but yeah, I was very, very thankful for that comment because I thought that comment was was like one of those comments that I'm like, oh yeah, duh, why didn't I employ it in the first place? Um, I just realized it's one of my weakest link when it comes to uh, environment uh, illustrations. So I don't think of atmospheric perspective as much, but yeah, it's going to be one of the things that I'm going to try to concentrate on in the following year. So. But anyways, this illustration is almost done, so I'm just going to go over my thoughts about this illustration and the challenge in general. Um, Art Station challenge is very, very hard because we are tasked with coming up with four illustrations in a month's time. Um, so that's already tough. 
uh, having to factor in those illustration with working a full-time job <laughs> then gets even tougher um, like I wish I just wasn't working when I when I did the challenge because then hey I could have had the full full month to like really explore the four illustrations but no I, I was working full time and so trying to squeeze in the time to do four illustrations in a month is really really tough especially since most challenges only task you with doing one illustration a month um, so yeah uh, the art station challenge was really tough because of of the number uh, of requirements of illustrations um, I've been meaning to join the challenge for like the past few years now uh, but I just haven't just because I couldn't you know manage my time well enough uh, to do the challenge and then finally this year or this past year I was just like I, I really need to just try and see if I could even accomplish it um, and so I did. I, I set out to try and see if I could finish the challenge and lo and behold I was able to. I tried the fall challenge, the Neo Tokyo, Neo Tokyo challenge um, in the fall but that one I, I knew that I was going to burn out just because I was doing too many challenges at that point and I really needed a break so uh, I threw in the towel on that one, which kind of made me sad because I really love sci-fi more than fantasy settings. So really, the Neo Tokyo challenge would have been more of my jam than this medieval challenge. But uh, but it's okay, you know. At some point, there's just times where it, it's necessary to prioritize the mental health, which is what I did for that challenge. So yeah. But yeah, I really love this particular illustration. I love how uh, it ended up and I love the tips that I got for this illustration that made it 10 times better. So yeah, I I really dig this particular one out of all the four illustrations that I did. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this uh, narrated our time lapse with me. Uh, once again, happy new year. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Good night.